Hi everyone, welcome to today's live video. Today we're going to be answering another viewer question. The question to me was, Ange, should I save first, you know, build up a savings account first or repay debt? Should I save first or should I repay debt? Okay, great question because that is a tricky one. Depends what you're trying to achieve again. Okay, so let's talk about savings first. When you put money in a bank account, you don't really earn much from it from from the bank let's be honest you might get a percent or something of interest in a high in, uh, in a high interest account but it's, it's really nothing it's minimal it's not going to change your life at all if you put your savings perhaps into an offset account which is attached to your mortgage your home loan you're going to save the same amount as what you're paying in interest so that could be three and a half four and a half five and a half percent a year depending on where you know which country you live in what rates are currently doing that's not a bad way to save for your savings. But if you have personal debt, which are credit cards, car loans, um, higher purchase loans, store cards, um, you know, those um, furniture deals when you go and buy the furniture and then you pay it off over 18 months, that type of thing. If you have any form of personal debt, it's the worst kind of debt to owe ever because the interest rates are a lot higher than any interest you're going to earn from a bank account. Car loans in Australia right now, they could be anywhere from 8%, 9%, right up to 13, 14, 15%. Credit cards, they, they are a shocker. You're lucky at getting one that's anything around 15%. Mostly they're around 23, 24% a year in interest. So the question, should you save first or should you repay debt? If you save your money into a bank account of some sort, you're going to get measly interest. Maybe an offset account, 4 or 5% interest. But if you've got debt at the moment, you're going to be paying 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 24% interest with credit cards. That's huge. You're never going to achieve those returns from putting money in your bank or many other investments in the world. So, the aim of the game is to get rid of any credit card debt, personal loans, car loans you have immediately. That should be your main focus in life is to get rid of that because that's costing you money, a lot of money, more money than you're ever going to make from investing. The reason is interest with personal loans such as car loans, credit cards, that interest is accruing daily. So for every day that you have that debt, your interest is going up. And if you're not clearing those loans ASAP, in other words, paying off your credit card in full every time, that interest is accumulating and compounding and adding to adding. So you're paying interest on top of interest. So first step, get rid of all personal debt, credit cards, home loans. Start with the thing that has the loan that has the higher interest rate. So usually it's a credit card. Get rid of them, doing everything you can. The caveat to that is though, Things in life happen, emergencies, whatnot. So to stop you from repaying your credit card down and then some sort of emergency happening in life and you need to draw back out on that credit card, it does help to still have a little bit of savings happening on the side that you can dip into for emergencies. So for example, if I was saving, say, $100 a week right now into a, into a savings account, but I still had credit card debts, personal loans, that type of thing, I would maybe take half of that money and put it onto the credit card, make extra payments to get rid of it faster, but then still save a little bit, but maybe another $50 into a bank account for emergencies. Because the worst thing you want to do is keep paying down all your loans and then have to draw on them whenever an unexpected bill or life emergency happens, something like that. So step one, get rid of all your personal debt as quick as you can. Throw all your surplus income to getting rid of it while still having a little bit of cash that you're saving on the side for emergencies. Of course, once all your credit card debt, personal loans, all that has been repaid in full, that money you were using to pay off the loans, all the repayment money, that then can start going to topping up your savings account. So that way your savings will increase a lot faster than it has been whilst you were trying to pay off the loans. I hope that answers that question for you today, viewer. Um, that came from Amanda in Sydney. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe to the Money Messenger website.